Well, I mean, this is one of the most significant um, achievements in the last 20 years. Um, ever since the Piton Management Area was designated a World Heritage Site by the World Heritage Committee of the United Nations, uh, we have been, we had a notice of, of declaration to make the area an environmental protection area. And so over the years, we have had lots of um, delicate battles, intricate battles within and without of St. Lucia. Um, we've had threats of losing our status, which had been defended by successive ministers of, for the environment, as, such as Minister G Jimmy Fletcher, Minister Richard Frederick. And finally, we have had local challenges in the courts of law. And what the courts have said that what we had there was not, we were not standing, we didn't have legal legs to stand on. So what this um, statutory instrument has done is to give us those legal legs to stand on in decision making, in protecting the patrimony of St. Lucia, that is the Peter management area. Okay. Um, what areas does the Peter well, well, the, the Piton management area, the, the boundaries are defined from, from um, in the whole Soufre town heading back along the, including the sulfur spring along that route, um, includes both the Pitons and out um, in the marine spaces and, and bounded by the Livroin River is, is the boundary. That's in, in a nutshell. Well, well, it is because in, in the past, as I indicated, there were um, challenges um, that we had with the, since it was, the area was designated the World Heritage Site. And it's, it means that when you declare the World Heritage Site, it means that you have outstanding universal value. And that has to be preserved, not just for the people of St. Lucia, but it is universal value. So it means for the people of the world. And so... If you, it, it has to be um, enforced by having the, the legislative support, um, which under the Physical Planning Act allows us under Section 34.2 for the minister to declare an area, an environmental protected area. And so that process has taken some time, but finally we, we got that doing. And now the DCA and the other agencies such as the Peter Management Area um, Advisory Committee and the uh, Department of Sustainable Development, we and all the other agencies in Lucia National Trust can better help to regulate the type of developments that take place within that area and to better control what happens within, within those spaces because we need to preserve that not just for now but for future generations. Yeah. Um, is there anything important that I should know concerning this? Anything else? 